Despite ongoing inflation and job cuts, America's overall job market is booming nationally and here in the Bay Area. Let's bring in our business and tech reporter, Scott Budman. Uh, and Scott, what are the takeaways here from the new jobs report? Well, there are a lot of takeaways, Raj. For one thing, our economy is strong and the nation's economy is strong. You may hear a lot about gloom and doom, but when it comes to jobs, we're still consistently strong. This marks 29 consecutive months here in the U.S. that we've added jobs, even here where we know tech companies have been cutting back. <laughs> it's the news moving people and the markets. We're talking about jobs, lots of them. There's been all this talk of recession, downturn, um, and uh, Actually, uh, we're OK. And there are few better indicators of being OK than our economy, adding a much better than expected 339,000 jobs in May. Even as the Federal Reserve raised interest rates to slow the economy, and even as big tech companies laid off employees by the tens of thousands. Joint Venture Silicon Valley CEO Russell Hancock says those layoffs only tell part of the local job story. Even at the same time that people have been laying off, they've also been hiring. Both things have been happening simultaneously and we're hiring at a greater rate than we're laying off. Among the hot spots, AI, where Silicon Valley companies are raising venture capital money by the millions, which they will use to hire more people. Okay, so despite all the Bay Area layoffs, the numbers are still promising, meaning job numbers. Right. Uh, you mentioned interest rates. This impacts all of us, from our credit cards to everything else. Will they continue to rise if our economy is doing so well? You'd think because interest rates are likely to rise because the Fed wants to slow inflation. What's inflationary? All of us spending. working and spending money. Yeah. And so, so we're all working, we're all spending in theory. Right. And that is, so this news is actually very good for the overall economy, but it's also inflationary, which means the Fed is likely not finished raising interest rates to try and slow things down a bit, which means the interest rate hikes are probably still with us. And frankly, inflation is probably still with us for sure. at least a little while. Okay. Thank you, Scott. You bet. Audrey.